Hi, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a control transformer on a residential air conditioning system. Now, the transformer provides 24 volts for the control circuitry on the residential unit, meaning the thermostat as well as the two relays that control the indoor fan, outdoor fan, and compressor. So let's get started. To begin with, we need to click the selector switch on the thermostat to the cool position. This will also turn down the temperature setting below the room temperature. Click OK on the procedure guide, and you're going to have to do this after each step. Next, we need to look at which loads are running and which are not. Well, if we take a look here, we can see that the indoor fan motor is not running. We can't hear it running, and even if you don't have speakers, um, the presence of these stationary arrows indicate that the fan is in fact off. Uh, if it's running, they'll be rotating. So no, our indoor fan's not running. Now we go to our outdoor unit and we can see that both our condenser fan motor and our compressor are also inoperative. So we're gonna click no here on the procedure guide. Now we're gonna remove the cover from the indoor unit and we're gonna pull out the wiring diagram and come up with a list of possible causes of this malfunction. So click on this bottom icon, the indoor unit wiring diagram, and we see the diagram over here on the right, which shows all the wire color codes. And let's take a look. What's going to take out all three loads? Well, nothing directly except the main power. Of course, if we don't have main power, nothing's going to operate. But if you take a look, we have two relays here, the indoor fan relay, which controls the indoor blower motor through these contacts. And we also have the contactor coil here, which controls the two outdoor units through its contacts. And if you want to see those, click on the outdoor unit wiring diagram. And there's our contacts right here, one on each side, controlling both the compressor motor and the condenser fan motor. So I'm going to store the outdoor unit wiring diagram back away here. And we're going to pay close attention to the indoor unit wiring diagram. And we've already established that the main power could be our problem. But what else is common to the three loads, or in this case, the two coils here of the relays that control those three loads. Well, if you look back, the first thing would be the thermostat. Now the thermostat contacts themselves are gonna provide power to the contactor coil, but the fan switch is gonna provide 24 volts to the indoor fan relay. So if we had a break on the kind of feed side or the line side of the thermostat, well, it would basically interrupt all functions of the thermostat. But remember, thermostats can fail individual functions as well. So we've got the thermostat, we've got the main power, and what else? Well, this guy right here, the transformer, that's gonna provide our 24 volts to operate these two relay coils. So we only have three possibilities here, the main power, the transformer, or the thermostat. Let's find out which one it is. We're gonna store the wiring diagram back away. We're gonna click OK now that we've removed the cover, and we're gonna take some voltage readings to find out where our culprit is. Well, we're gonna start at the primary side of the transformer. This will verify line voltage coming to the unit. So we're gonna drop our meter leads on these two glowing orange hotspots at the transformer primary. Now again, if you need to zoom in or rotate in order to easily drop the leads, you can do that. And we have 240 volts coming into the transformer, which verifies we do have main power. So we're gonna click yes on the procedure guide. Our next step is to measure for 24 volts at the transformer secondary. So we're just gonna simply take our leads and place them on the 24 volt connections at the transformer secondary, these two orange hotspots, and if we look here, we have zero volts. Well, this tells us the transformer is faulty in this case. Now, we had line voltage coming in, but we don't have anything going out, meaning we don't even have power to our thermostat, and therefore we're not going to have power to our relay coils. So again, here's our culprit here. One thing I would suggest prior to replacing it is turning the power off and doing a simple resistance check of each side of the transformer. Uh, sometimes in older equipment that were not fused in the secondary circuit, a short in one of the relay coils could overload the transformer and burn the secondary winding open. And replacing it is just gonna result in the same thing happening again. So after you've made these simple checks, um, you can then proceed on. So no, we don't have power coming out of the transformer. We want to probably check for some loose connections. So again, zoom in and just pan around a little bit or rotate, making sure that our connections are secure here and it appears that they are. So no, we don't have any loose wires here. 
Now, before replacing the transformer, make sure you turn the main power off. You don't want to replace components with live electricity to the circuit. So click on the handle, which will turn the power off. Next, go to the transformer and click on it and just hit replace on the menu. And we've solved our problem. Now again, you can review all the steps in the procedure guide that we did at the top by clicking on this top left icon, which will populate each step in order. And that way you can review them if you're not clear on one or more of those steps. Next, we wanna to go to the residence and make sure that cool air is reaching the residence. So we need to turn the disconnect back on to power the unit. And then we're gonna go up to the house and make sure cool air is being delivered through the registers. And we can see here evidence by this graphic that we do have cool air coming out of the floor register. So you did a great job and the problem's fixed. Good luck on all your future service calls and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. Do you wanna try 3D simulations and VR HVAC training yourself? then visit interplaylearning.com to start a free trial today.